Hey everybody, it's David Herrera from the Tips Team, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about the Speaker Spotlight feature on Google Slides. So this is a new feature that allows you to virtually present or record Google Slides while changing the way that your camera looks on a Google Slide. So let's take a quick look at how this works within Google Slides. So first off, you're going to head over to the top left and you're going to see a Speaker Spotlight button. As you can see, a little toolbar pops up on the right side and I can actually pick whichever shape I want. And so this is very nice for keeping a specific visual design that I want, or maybe just making my virtual lessons engaging. Um, so as you can see here, I am selecting a bunch of different shapes for where I want my face or my webcam to be when I'm going to be presenting. So there's two ways that I can actually use this. I can either record a lesson by clicking on the record button at the very top right. So you'll see here an option pops up for me to be able to record by pressing the big record button. I can switch between slides and those shapes that I've selected for the spotlight are going to show up and that's where my face shows up in the video. So this is a very cool, very engaging way to be able to have virtual lessons again if I want to record them ahead of time. Now, something else that I can do with Speaker Spotlight is I can actually present slides on Google Meet. And when I present them on Google Meet, I will be able to um, use these speaker spotlight shapes whenever I am presenting. So whenever you are on a Google Meet and you want to present a slideshow from Google Slides that has speaker spotlight shapes, you'll see a little notification pops up and you can present. And the nice thing about this is, yes, my camera's still there on the top right, but my face actually shows up as a part of the presentation in whatever shape I chose. So this is a very easy way to be able to engage students when you are doing presentations in a virtual classroom. Anyways, that is it for this Google Workspace update. If you have any questions about Google Workspace or any kind of tech tool that you want to use in your classroom, please reach out to the tips team or head to our website tips.epsb.ca as well as any of our uh, playlists within YouTube. Have an awesome day. Thank you.